Some mothers have discovered the secret of turning one of the most painful things imaginable into one of the most pleasurable. A word of caution, this report contains graphic material that may be inappropriate for younger viewers. Here's Juju Chang. This is childbirth. At least Hollywood's version, best described as painful, excruciating, even unbearable. As the Bible says, with pain, you will give birth to children. But could there be another side of childbirth, a side we never see? This is Amber Hartnell's labor, and the look on her face says it all. She joins a growing group of women who say instead of agony, childbirth could be ecstasy. Amber actually had an orgasm while giving birth. All of a sudden, the orgasm just started rolling through and rolling through, and it just kept coming, and my whole body was spiraling and rolling, and I was laughing and crying. And You were actually purring. I was purring. <laughs> it felt amazing. <laughs> How do you compare that to a sexual orgasm? Well, it's really not any different. Hard to imagine? Amber, a modern dancer, and her husband, Asim, a physicist, were shocked as well. They spent many hours planning for their son's birth under a tree near their home in Hawaii. But they couldn't have predicted what happened next, just after a very simple kiss. And Asim, what was it like watching your wife in this state of ecstasy? Well, it's not like it's unusual. <laughs> <laughs> But very good, very good, Nassim. <laughs> At first I was like, what's going on? She's, she's having an orgasm. <laughs> the experience didn't have to be a traumatic, painful experience. It could be an experience of ecstatic joy. It could? Deborah Pascali Bonaro, a childbirth educator for 26 years, says the same organs involved in sexual orgasms are being stimulated during childbirth. In fact, one famous midwife in a very unscientific poll claims that 21% of women she surveyed had orgasms during labor. To prove it's possible at all, Deborah made a documentary called Orgasmic Birth. How come I've never heard of that before? Is this just a huge, well-kept secret? It is, as we say, the best kept secret. I'm only asking that people open up and take a new look into birth. So Deborah decided to film couples in the most intimate moments of labor, <laughs> like the larders of suburban New Jersey. For their second child, Tamara and Simon wanted a natural birth at their home. They went ahead with the help of midwives, a water tub to help soothe contractions, and a whole lot of kissing. It looks romantic and sensual and not words that you would associate normally with childbirth. Yeah, the physical touch and the nurturing was just really comforting to me. Making out a bit during labor is <laughs> fun for the guy too. And is it fair to say that you experience an orgasmic birth? Yes. It was happening and I could hardly breathe and I was like, oh that feels good, <laughs> you know, that's all I could say really. <laughs> How is that physically possible? Dr. Christian Northrup, a board-certified OBGYN and author of Women's Bodies, Women's Wisdom, says it's basic science. When the baby's coming down the birth canal, remember, it's going through the exact same positions as something going in, a penis going into the vagina, to cause an orgasm. And labor itself is associated with a huge hormonal change in the body way more prolactin, way more oxytocin, way more beta endorphin. These are the molecules of ecstasy. This is nature's way of providing a hormonal painkiller. So I'm having another contraction. But in my own experience, having given birth three times, twice naturally, my labor was decidedly unorgasmic. Well, we're going to the hospital. In my mind, it is excruciating and about the furthest thing from pleasure I could think of, which is, I think, how most people perceive it. Absolutely. One's expectations change the way pain is perceived. Whenever you expect pain, you tense up your muscles, your stress hormone levels go up, and that increases pain. And according to the documentary Orgasmic Birth, the hospital experience itself can increase that pain. If we look at most other countries in the world, women have a lot of options. They're allowed to be upright. They can move in labor. They can use warm water. 
they can use balls. There's so much that they can do that makes the experience easier. And in the U.S. today, you walk in a typical hospital, you're put in bed on your back. That in itself makes labor longer and harder and more painful. I'd like to see hospitals giving women a lot more choices. So the same environment that you would plan for a very sensuous, romantic evening would be what you would want to give birth. She says to even have the possibility of orgasmic birth, women need to lose their fear and their inhibitions. One method, practicing relaxation techniques. For Amber, it was breathing exercises and her own kind of lamaze. It's not that she doesn't feel pain, she transforms it into what she calls simply sensations. Another key element, not blocking those sensations with anesthesia. But some people look at modern medicine as progress. Why are you asking women to go back to feeling that pain? It is part of human experience to experience pain, the other side of which is this incredible ecstasy. Isn't that cute? Claudia Montes wanted to experience that ecstasy. After giving birth twice with an epidural, she was determined to have a pleasurable birth even in a hospital setting without pain medication. But it turned out her toughest obstacle was her husband, Jay. I don't understand choosing pain over, you know, modern medicine. If you could hit yourself in the head with a hammer or not hit yourself in the head with a hammer, which would you choose? His whole thing is he didn't want me to suffer. And my whole thing is, you know, suffering is perceived. Claudia hired a midwife instead of a doctor and took months to prepare for her labor. For her, the key to relaxation was hypnosis. And you say to yourself, I can do this. So I didn't feel pain. I was in bliss. Uh, because I felt safe. <laughs> I felt tingly, I felt high. It's just this amazing feeling. I know that you were somewhat embarrassed, Jay, to talk to us because you're thinking, what are my friends gonna think? Yeah, they probably are thinking, well, why isn't he giving her the orgasm? <laughs> but in the end, Jay admits his wife chose the right path. She ultimately was right and I was wrong. I never envisioned that, you know, it would have such a happy ending. Does this just put more undue pressure on women to, to do something that they don't want to or are afraid to? I hope women watching and men watching don't feel that what we're saying is every woman should have an orgasmic birth. Our message is that women can journey through labor and birth in all different ways. And there are a lot more options out there to make this a positive and pleasurable experience.